Hi, my name is John Vereen and welcome to this week's Prosper On. Now in preparation for today's commentary, I actually googled how to reduce taxes and I came away with nearly 45 million pages of results. Now I didn't have a chance to go through all of them, but those that I did see led to ads or articles discussing all the complex options for reducing your tax bill. There are lots of ways for people to quote, reduce their taxes, but many of them involve large expenses like buying a home or scouring for small deductible options like tracking your medical expenses. Now I can't speak for everyone out there, but my wife and I aren't buying a house just for the tax deduction. Instead, we think there are two very important ways to significantly reduce your taxable income. The first is to contribute the maximum amount to your retirement accounts. We have never seen anyone save too much for retirement. So if you make contributions to your retirement accounts, you can directly reduce your taxable income and defer that tax until distributions are made during retirement. The deferral limit for 2012 is 17,000 with an additional 5,000 for those over 50 years old. And if you participate in an employer matching plan, be sure you contribute the maximum amount that your employer will match in order to take advantage of this opportunity. Now, these contributions have to be made by your filing date or April 15th, whichever one comes first. But it's definitely not too late to make contributions and reduce your taxable income. The second, and probably most emotionally rewarding way, is by making charitable contributions. Unfortunately, these contributions must have occurred before December 31st, 2012 in order to be deducted from this year's tax return. But looking forward, planned contributions uh, to charities for 2013, keeping in mind the benefits, both emotionally and financially, of a donation. And what many people don't know is that the most effective way to use charitable contributions is by donating appreciated securities, like stock with significant capital gains. Not only do you avoid any capital gains tax, but the market value of the security can be deducted rather than the cost basis that you paid for it. There is nothing that feels better than donating to charity and avoiding gains taxes. Now these are just two great ways of reducing your taxable income both now and in the future. And if you have any questions about other strategies for your individual situation, contact your CPA or feel free to reach out to us. I'm John Breen and thanks for watching.